Hello, my name's John, and welcome to another vlog. Um, I've decided, you know, after a few people have commented that I'm going to do a series on DVDs slash films that I like and why they inspire me and stuff like that. So this is the first one, so be prepared. Um, the first one is about one of my all-time favourite genres of films, and that is zombies. Um, it's a bit weird. But it's it's something that I've um, I've grown to like. I used to be really into vampires, but over the years, I think I've I found myself wandering more towards zombies and it, the fact that it has more social and moral kind of underlying stories and situations than vampires do. So it's a bit more interesting. But anyway, the first one, my first favourite film is actually Dawn of the Dead, the original, not the remake. Uh, they're both George Romero films anyway, but um, I prefer the original from 19... Uh, whenever it was. Uh, I've got it on DVD. I've got all these films on DVD because I've got a huge DVD collection. Um, but for me, this is the ultimate zombie film because it because basically how it's how it's been made, it's settings, it's set in a mall or a shopping centre as we Brits call it, um, and it it talks a lot about social situations, about how we used to live before we before the zombie epidemic kind of hit, about the fact that we were still in a way kind of mindless automatons even even then. So, like, you know, the shopping centre or mall was a really important social gathering for a lot of people, which kind of makes us almost zombies even while we're still alive. So, when we die and become these zombies, it's something that is still embedded in our brains that we need to do this stuff, which is why all these zombies were shot like crowded around this huge, great big mall. Um, it's also one of the first things that well one of the first things that really made me think about my own mortality and um, realised that I'm not going to live forever uh, even though for years as a kid you know as you do yeah you think you think yeah nothing can touch you but um, watching Dawn of the Dead made me realise that you know we are going to die and what's going to happen to us when when we do, are we just going to be a shell, or are we going to return? You know, what happens if somehow there was some kind of zombie outbreak for whatever reason? Um, you know, it's would would you really want to come back as a zombie? You know, or or what? You know, and it's it's like the and it's got the social situations of um, you know what do you do if you're faced with a zombie epidemic? You know what? What would you do as a human survivor? It's, it's a very complicated film, I think. Um, my second favourite is World War Z or World War Z, depending on where you are in the world. Um, this one for me is the first zombie film since Romero's films that really brought zombies back to life again. Um, a lot of people were just doing carbon copies of Romero type zombies and it was getting a bit boring but World War Z kind of totally freshened it up it treated zombies in a new light in um, a new way of dealing with it I won't say what that is in case you've not seen it but it's it's certainly unique so I would, I would suggest you check it out um, it's you know it it's just a really good film for for a modern day zombie film, you know, it's it's very really good. Uh, my third one isn't actually my favourite, one of my favourite films, it's actually a change from what this series is supposed to be, and it's actually my worst zombie film, and that is Land of the Dead. Um, for me, the thought of zombies becoming intelligent, or being able to learn stuff, was a bit stupid. The whole point of being zombies was the fact that you were pretty much brain dead and only had the basic instinct to kill to survive. And um, you know, and that's what zombies are. You just mindless automatons that are just wandering the world. So the 
the very fact that they could learn to do stuff and had like um, controlled responses was a bit stupid. It was a good film in that it's another George Romero one um, and he is like the godfather of zombie films um, but it just didn't flow right for me. It just seemed a bit weird. Um, but yes, they're my three um, zombie films that I wanted to talk about. I do have quite a large collection. I have um, 28 days and 28 weeks later. But they're not technically zombies because you don't actually die before you turn. So I'm not sure whether, whether to class that as a zombie film or not. I have Children of the Living Dead, which is a, a cheap spin-off. I have City of the Living Dead, which actually got banned when it was made. Um, because it it had a few shocking um, scenes in it, which the, the film board thought it was a bit... Um, two in your face so the bandits but um, thanks to a company called Vipco they um, have found and unbanned a lot of videos so that's one that I've been able to get in my collection I've got Dawn of the Dead the original and the remake um, Dawn of the Living Dead which is a completely different film to Dawn of the Dead um, I've got Grapes of Death which is a foreign film I can't remember where I think it's France and that goes on about um, a polluted soil which affects the grapes which then turn the people who drank wine into zombies which was a bit it was a bit weird which is why I got it because um, there was a bunch of people that drank beer who were completely oblivious to it all and completely safe and they were like how come how come how come and then the twig that it was because they were drinking beer which was I thought quite funny and um, I've got Land of the Dead um, Return of the Living Death 3, The Plague of Zombies, World War Z, Vampires vs Zombies, which is a completely low budget one and it it the uh, it's shocking it is shockingly bad. Um Zombie Flesh Eaters. We've got Evil Dead 1, 2, 3 and the remake, but they're not really zombie type things, they're they're called Deadites, um, which are technically zombies but they're almost intelligent kind of zombies. So, you know, and I've also got Wreck, or Record, 1, 2 and 3, but I've not actually seen those, but I know the first one was supposed to be like a zombie type heartbreak, and I think the second one was, but I'm not sure about the third, but like I say, I've not actually got around to watching them yet, so I'm not class. I'm not sure if I should actually be classing them as zombie films or not. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the first of my TV, DVD film service, so... Yeah, um, if you've got any comments um, and your opinions that you'd like to share on if you agree or disagree with my top three you know let me let me know and um, if there's anything else you'd like to know then let me know and I'll, I'll do a bit of research and let you know um, if you like this video click like and subscribe to my channel bye